my channel. I'm so excited to be doing this fall prep video. I have been waiting anxiously for this season because, mostly because I live in Arizona and it's freaking hot here. <laughs> Before we go shopping, this is kind of what I'm thinking of in my mind of like the areas that I'm shopping for. This dining room area is really lacking in all decor. So you can see the table is super empty. The buffet table over here. And then just over here, I'd like some decorations on this table and spruce up the piano area. Here are the pictures that are kind of my inspiration. In this picture, I like the little chair. I kind of have one already, so maybe a pillow to go there. Also, I like the wicker basket. I have one that I got when I was thrift shopping, so I'll probably use that. And the amber glass bottles. I want to try to find those when I go vintage shopping. Okay, and so on this one, I just like the rustic look. I don't know if I'll find a chalkboard. I don't think I even really want a chalkboard. Just mostly like some chunky frames or oval shaped wood stuff to put on the wall. Um, or even just like the next picture right here. This one has like a old looking window on the wall. And then I like the old school vase and the greenery. And again, there's that wicker basket. Okay, so let's go shopping. I love me some Hobby Lobby, but when they bring out the fall stuff and it's still summer, I get anxiety. Now that it's September, I feel like I'm finally allowed to shop in this section. This is my first ever kind of decorate haul video. I find myself being inspired by these type of videos though. So I really just wanted to make one of my own and inspire anybody else to kind of just make their house a haven and celebrate this season. I think I'm gonna go with this one because it could be good for Thanksgiving, but also like everyday life. And it's pretty big and I like it. I'm trying to decide between this little house thing and this little light lantern thing. I think I'm gonna go with this lantern. By the way, if you're not hanging out with me on Instagram yet, it's Dana Marie Kirkland. I share almost every day in my stories about real life stuff and I'd love to hang out with you there. Okay, I got to Merchant Square, this little antique shop, and I don't have that much time, so I am going to kind of go in with like a very specific list. One thing is those amber glass bottles. I'm gonna look for those amber glass bottles. Also some uh, big like oval wall hangings. Um, and then if I have any time left after that, which I don't think I will, then I'll just like look for little knickknacks and trinkets and things, which they have like an abundance of, so let's go. Merchant Square is an antique shop that rents out little sections to independent vendors and there's so much good stuff here. I really encourage you to find an antique shop, find a thrift store near you, and just start trying. Maybe get some ideas from Pinterest before you go, and just go out and try to find some deals and find some great steals. You'll get addicted to it, I promise. So this is their like outdoor area called the Pickers Lane, and it's just like an entire outdoor section full of antiques. This is one of my favorite parts about thrift shopping, antique shopping. As I was walking by, I saw this really pretty old school mirror window thing and I needed to get it. It looked just like the picture. I had to dig, but it was worth it. This little window is $10. That is cool. So I had to cut that little antique shopping part down short because I had to go pick up my kids from preschool, but I wanted to stay there all day. It is the most amazing place. They also bake these beautiful, giant, fresh cookies. Literally, it's like if you could put all my favorite things in one spot. It is the antique market. Okay, well, let's start with the haul and we'll just go from there. So, got this vase. I think I'm gonna put some of the, like, cattail or wheat sticks in it. I don't know what they're called. And it was 50% off in the vase area and I think it's really cute. It's got some neutral colors that can tie into the other things that I have. And these are the stems that I got, the cotton stems that will maybe go into there. I'm not sure. I don't know. We will experiment with that. I also got just cotton little pods to like put around um, as needed. Then a black iron lantern. This one I wasn't sure if I should have gotten this or that little black house thing. Um, but this one, I felt like I could put more in it and make it look really cute and I think it could look a little spooky for Halloween, so I don't know. I think that'll look 
cute with all the other stuff that I got. Then my really tall wheat, wheat stocks or whatever these are, I'm not really sure. But they're really freaking tall and really pretty. I don't know if I'm just gonna lean them up against a wall or try to put them in a vase, see if they will fit anywhere. But I don't know why. I was drawn to them and I had to get them. Last thing I got was this sign. This is the one that I ended up getting. I felt like it could probably stay in the dining room even past the holiday season. What does it say? Let our lives be full of... Let our lives be full of both thanks and giving. So, we'll see that. Okay, now for what I got at the thrift shop vintage place. First I got this. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. I thought maybe I put some, well I'll show you what I got that might good, look good in this and I'm just gonna kind of stack it on top. That's what the lady had. She had it like stacked on top of some greenery. So I don't know. I thought it was really pretty. Fallish. I'm not sure if it's fall but I think you could use it all year round. This is what I was hustling to get in the big junkyard area. Literally it's so gross right now. I don't even know if this is worth $10. I feel like it was. I feel like it's still a good purchase. It's uh, so dirty from monsoon season. It's like covered in dirt. But I'm gonna clean it off and see if I can make it look cute. Just gonna bring this box over here. This is all the little glass items. So I got these little vintage green cups which were so cute i don't know what i'll put in here maybe little flowers but yeah i got two of those so cute and then i was looking for those amber jars and i didn't find many until like the very last second when i was waiting in line and so i grabbed the ones that i saw but they're very like different but still just like regular amber glass items weren't that expensive well this one was overpriced but this this one wasn't. I was just grabbing them. I wasn't even looking really. So I got some vintage books and these ones, this one had a little bit of gold in it and this one had a pattern. Even the front of it is like really pretty. There were some that I had that I really liked that were really pretty but then like the title was like The Ancient Art of Embalming and I just, I could not, <laughs> could not put that up there. Maybe it would be good for Halloween but it's a little creepy so I left that there because it might be possessed. I'm going to find my big giant bucket and bring it out and see what we have from last year. This is the mat that I got from Home Goods last year. Um, and I put it by my front door. So I put like this little rug out on the front porch and then I put like my foot, my, my wiper thing. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? A uh, doormat on top of it. So this is from home goods and then we got this pumpkin from Hobby Lobby too last year but I saw some of these this year too so that'll still be there I actually got this from my friend last year it's from Twin Pop Designs so cute now this one you're gonna laugh this is a picture of me and Lucas with fall leaves covering our heads. This is from when we were dating, okay? Can you, can you see this? This is from when we were, I thought this was so cute and crafty. Here is everything. I kind of feel like a crazy person when I see it all out like this, but it'll be dispersed all over the house so I won't feel as crazy. Okay, let's get decorating. I wanted to set the mood in the house, so I did this diffuser blend of four drops of Christmas spirit, two drops of nutmeg, and two drops of stress away. And I let Lila help pour in the water and pick her favorite color on the diffuser, which is always pink. cleaning product called Thieves Household Cleaner for basically everything and I love it. I know that it's good for the environment. I know that it's good for my family and it seriously is my favorite cleaning product. I use it on everything. So I decided to use my pumpkins from Target that I got in the $3 section and also some loose fall floral things and kind of just stuff them together on this little tablecloth that I found at Target last year. And 
my favorite thing during fall and winter season is to get out these tall candles. I don't usually light them, but I like just having them around because ambiance. I'm so excited because as I was cleaning, Lila said that there was mail for me and Lila went and grabbed the package. What did it say? GG Pep. My hat, y'all. Um, you're adorable. That's how you wear it. You look so cute. Looking adorable. <laughs> how do you always know how to pull off these fashion things? You want to know how I saw nails at a store? So cute! But it is seriously so adorable. This is exactly what I wanted. This was in the dollar section at Target too. <laughs> and it's a scarf, but I'm going to use it as a blanket. I wanted to try and make this kind of the focal point since I loved it so much, but it was filthy dirty. Filthy dirty. Okay, I have to take a break and come back and film the rest of this in a little bit, but right now, like just gathering things together, um, but I'm honestly so frustrated because I can't figure out how to decorate this space. It's honestly really hard for me to like feel it out. So it's been a couple of days. I'm gonna jump back into decorating. I just started with a blank slate on this little buffet table because I was getting overwhelmed with what the heck I was doing. Um, so I'm going to try to create something right now. I have a couple ideas. So I'll jump into that now. So I cleaned off this disgustingly dirty mirror and I wanted it to be the focal point and I put the cute sign on the front of it and some tea light candles that I had stored away somewhere. I wanted to recreate that amber glass look I found in the pictures and also I remember learning somewhere that when you're styling something you want to kind of give it a little home whether that's a tray or a book. Then I stuffed it with some more loose floral stuff because you can never have too many flowers. The girls got to go hang out with daddy so they came home and gave me snuggles. I got these placemats at Pottery Barn the first year that we were married and also some fall napkins and, and rings. Obviously I loved it enough to put it on my registry so you know that I seriously wait for this season all year round. Here's my thrift shop wicker basket. I decided to fill it up with some flowers and put it on the coffee table just to give it some life. I replaced the florals in my favorite Pottery Barn teal vase. It was worth every dollar. I have used it seriously in every single season for eight years. That little bird cage is where I'm going to hide my Alexa. I just put a candle on top of it and now you don't have to see it anymore. And of course, a thrift shop frame from Goodwill. Decorating my front porch is probably one of my favorite parts about fall decorations. Here's that home goods rug and this wreath I actually DIY'd it a couple of years ago. These UVA stocks, they were so messy. They shed 
everywhere in the house. It was really annoying, so I put them outside because nobody's got time for that. I didn't want to go too crazy in this room with fall decor because of the pink rug, so I just tried to sprinkle it in a little bit here and there. Okay, another thing that's really hard for me to decorate are shelves. I just find it really hard to make it look cohesive and put together. So this took a really long time. I've looked at tutorials on Pinterest. I've looked at magazines and cut things out. It's just hard for me to picture where everything's supposed to go. I don't know if you feel like this, but I end up leaving my shelves blank for way too long and overthinking it. So if you've got some blank shelves, just put some stuff up that makes you happy. It's done. The whole house looks like fall threw up on it. I can hear my husband laughing in the background. <laughs> I know that I'm not an interior decorator, but this video not really about how perfect everything looks or making it look like a designer touched your house, but instead it's just about making it feel like home, making it feel like something that's comfortable for you. And that's kind of what my hope was with this whole video is just find what makes you feel happy and like the season's happening and it doesn't have to look any certain way just have fun with it um if that is something you like to do you don't have to decorate at all and you can still have a great season with your family it's just about what makes you know your heart come alive and makes you happy and decorating makes me happy so that's what we did today if you enjoyed this video it means so much if you hit that like button also subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of future videos if you want to see my face again, if you're into this type of content. Otherwise, I hope that you're having an incredible day. I hope that your fall season is blessed and that you and your family have tons of new memories that you create. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.